nobody needs to know how you've proceed to get to this result. Yeah. There might be 20 other elements, but you must not see them. What is Jacques Remond? Oh, I am born in this industry. My uh, father and mother had a very humble, small cafe in, in a little village in Burgundy who belonged before that to my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather was uh, a beer merchant, so he opened this little cafe and it was a farm adjacent as well to this little cafe. So we used to kill our own pigs and grow our own chickens and you know have all our vegetables and everything. Then my father completely destroyed the farm and built uh, 15 bedrooms. So it become small hotel restaurant. Now, why did you and your wife decide to take this over when you were 25? Well, we had quite a fair bit of experience. Let me start on that. And I met my wife when we were 17 in uh -huh. England. And we done all of it. Yes. But what were you doing in England at the age of 17? Like, I've been bad, sent please. by the Hotel School of Nice to do a stage. Right. So I was meant to do a stage for three months. Uh, but as I met Cathy, I stayed for one year. And then we moved on after that to England. We moved on to uh, Lustad Bomania in France, who yes. got, at the time had a, a three stars Michelin. Yes. And that was a fabulous experience. And this opened my mind. I said, that's what I want to do in the future. When I decided and I wanted to try to get into this play, yes. at the time it was the most renowned with Paul Bocuse. They were the two first. Yes. And then Who was the chef there? The chef was Jacques Picard. Ah yes, yes, yes. Uh, so I just said you know, to some of the people around, oh, I'd like to go and listen. You're joking, you just can't get it, mate. There is a, a waiting list of hundreds and hundreds of people who want to work there but not, they don't even ask to be paid and some are paying and it is true because we'll come to that later on. Yes. So okay. I said I don't care, I want to go and work yeah. there. So I took my motorbike and from Cuiso I went there because I was back you know, from, from England. So from Cuiso I went there, it took about five hours and I arrived, it was about just before lunch service. And from the back where all the beans were, I walked through with my helmet on the hands up and I walked straight into the kitchen. And in this kitchen, there is 22 cooks. Yes. And everybody sees this guy with this no, helmet and motorbike. I said, oh, who's this, this guy doing it? I said, can I see the chef, please? So the chef comes, Jacques Picard, very, very nice man, very humble person. And he takes me apart and said, what do you want? I said, I want to come and work here. So there's a big silence in the kitchen and everybody starts to laugh. What's funny about it? So he takes me apart and says, you know what, nobody has ever done what you've done and I'll give you a chance. You can start next week. So I said, have I got a job? And I was so happy, you know? And I got a paid job. They were paying me too. Are you kidding? Yeah, so I started a week, so a week after. So you like the fact that you had the guts Absolutely. to come straight in Absolutely. and ask us to do something? What were the first impressions for you? What was so strange to you straight away? Uh, just to have so many people in the kitchen and to see all these uh, different ingredients I've never used to work before, or see like don't foie gras, truffles, all these expensive things, the wonderful smell in the kitchen. How long were you there for? Uh, I stayed for a year and a half. Then after this, Katia and I, we uh, went to work in a restaurant which uh, uh, was called La Vernias in Avia, which is part of the Relaisé Chateau. We stayed there for two years. I was the second chef. Uh, then we went to Brazil. Brazil? To Brazil. And we opened the most luxurious and biggest restaurant in Sao Paulo, which was called Massimo. That was Massimo? A Massimo. Was that the name of the owner? The yes, yes, Massimo Ferrari. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Great Italian guy, two brothers, fantastic, full of energy. And then after one year, 
in Sao Paulo, we get approached by the Varig, which is the, the, the Brazilian uh, airlines, airlines yes. um, to open the largest hotel in South America, right in the middle of the Amazonas. Okay. So we took the opportunity yes. and we went there for two years. Yes. And that was sensational. We were, you know, but very hard to work. And then we said, okay, now what do we do? So I said, let's try to make a name for ourselves in Paris. So we went to Paris for two years. Uh -huh. And Paris, again, two-star Michelin for Jacques Cagnat. And then we, you know, it was a fantastic introduction to, to meet the media and to make a name for ourselves. And then we decided, okay, now it's time. It's time to take over the, this little place in the village because now we might get support yes. from these people. And it did work because we started with nothing. And after two years, we get a star Michelin, one star Michelin. And after four and a half years, we were promoted. Um, we were going to get the second star Michelin. Yes. And? Well, and then we came here. So they were just looking for a simple apprentice. But when they saw my reference, they, they took me on straight away. So I stayed there for three years. Yes, yeah, so in Brunswick, as you know, and then we moved to the city for the next two years. And then we went to Richmond. We bought our own restaurant. Well, how would you characterize your food today? Well, I will call it true Australian cuisine. But what is true Australian cuisine? This is the... It's, it's a a technique of base than, than you have, it can be French, it can be Chinese, it can be whatever, but you must stick to your technique. And then spiritually get only your influence on what you see around you in terms of community, in terms of products, and in terms of what you have to cook with. gastronomy because it's an art form mm -hmm. what are you trying to achieve what's the next step my philosophy of cuisine is that to really surprise my customers but give them the real flavor of the true product by amazing. all this combination of blending different flavors only to enhance the main component nobody needs to know how you proceed to get to this result yeah. there might be 20 other elements but you must not see them 